everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Brugly channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 463, also known as the Concrete Wastes. This level is a wasteland of danger. Pretty much, it's exactly what the name says. And if you like class dead zones and wastelands of danger, then this level is right up your alley. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the video, shall we? Backrooms level 463 starts with a content warning because in the article it briefly mentions some bodily horror and some illnesses. It's not really that bad, but if that kind of thing even makes you queasy or whatever, probably should click off here. So the level is also known as the Concrete Wastes and it's classified as a class dead zone and is environmentally dangerous, infested with entities, and is apparently strictly uninhabitable. So that's fun. The level takes place outdoors and it physically kind of looks like one of those dried up desert areas from real life. Except, instead of there being sand everywhere, it's all made out of concrete. There are legitimately no natural things here. No plants, no water, just hundreds of miles of concrete wastelands. And the actual concrete itself is very sun bleached and it's practically white at this point. It's also very cracked due to years of dust storms. The gravity on this level is not like Earth's gravity. It's estimated to be like 40% less. There is also no day or night cycle because it's always daytime. And even though the sun is always out, the level is actually a pretty nice temperature and it stays around 67 degrees Fahrenheit or 19 degrees Celsius. There is absolutely no weather here at all. No rain, no clouds, no hail, nothing. The only thing that is here is wind sometimes. And this wind can either be a soft breeze or blow into huge gusts. And sometimes it's even strong enough to pick up a bunch of concrete and a bunch of concrete particles, which is bad because it can cause a huge dust storm. This level is thought to have a pretty high reading of radiation in the air from the environment, which it affects all the technology here and it affects you too. But since the technology messes up, the only reliable communication device is like a shortwave radio, so make sure that you have one if you're gonna go here, or if you accidentally get sent here, you're screwed. The good news is, is that the level isn't actually too big. It's actually pretty small and only 400 miles have been found so far. There's never been any liquid or food supplies found here, but there has been some old looking man-made structures found. And these structures are actually not made out of concrete like everything else, which is pretty unsettling if you think about it. Instead, they're made out of things like wood and bricks and other things that are typical house materials. The layout of these houses is pretty normal to a small house from real life, except these are all falling apart and worn down, and everything is partially collapsed and sun bleached. But these structures do prove that at one point there were people trying to live here. But since there's no supplies, no weapons, environmental radiation, and entities everywhere, the level is impossible to live on for long, so that explains why the people here are gone. So the expeditions to explore this level have only been able to go out around a 400 mile radius from the middle of the level. And at the middle of the level is a radio watchtower. The tower is thought to sit directly at the center of everything in this level, and it's made out of a weird metal. But just like the other buildings here, it's all eroded and worn down and pretty old looking. There is one small room next to the tower, and it's a broadcasting room. This room has a mic set up inside and a small table as well. And then from all that stuff, there are wires running into the walls that connect to the tower. And then there's a generator under the tower outside. Both the tower and the generator are fenced off. There's no way to get in the gate. You have to climb over it or something. But I mean, that's just weird. There are a ton of carvings inside of the broadcasting room that are cut right into the concrete floor. One phrase says, call out to be taken to Alma, then the number 1160 next to it. 1160 is thought to be the frequency that this tower broadcasts at, and the word Alma refers to an entity that lives here, which I'll talk about in a second because it's pretty cool. Now this next step is very important to your survival on this level and your life, pretty much. You need to go inside this broadcasting room and turn on all the equipment, which will then also turn on the generator outside. Once all that stuff's turned on, you need to go to the microphone and you need to say anything into it, which will summon Entity 463B, or Alma, to the radio station. If all goes to plan, Alma will then take you to the exit of the level, and this is the only found way to leave it so far. 
But the only problem with that is sometimes it's the 463 bees are close enough to the tower to hear the broadcast before Alma does. So if they come to the broadcast room before Alma, then you have terrible luck because these things do not want to help you. They want to eat you. Now to play it safe, broadcast into the microphone and then shut the door behind you and just wait until Alma comes to you. I'll explain the entities in detail in a second, don't worry. But it is so important that you find the radio station to call out from that microphone because if you don't do that, you'll either not make it because of radiation poisoning or you'll be eaten by entities. So yeah. Speaking of the radiation here, it works so weirdly and different from other types of it. People can only last a few hours in this level without fully succumbing to its effects. And if they do, their bodies won't rot, it'll preserve them. And this radiation effect has been named the concrete rot, and it affects humans and entities alike. But the humans and entities will become really weird looking and malformed and kind of gross. And those are the entity 463As that I was talking about earlier that might come before Alma does. Almond water does not seem to have any effect on curing this radiation sickness, which just goes to show how dangerous this place actually is. Now for the entities here. Entity 463B or Alma is one single entity that lives in this big concrete wasteland. It's around six feet tall with black hair and has chitin skin or chitin, whatever. Their hands look like a person's hands with five fingers, but their feet end in single points instead of toes and feet. These feet allow the entity to run quickly through the concrete wastes to get to you. Alma wears a poncho that covers most of its body and a scarf that covers its neck, and it also wears a white mask with black holes in the face. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. The entity is not aggressive, and its sole goal seems to be to help wanderers escape. Now, Alma normally does not speak to people, instead it communicates with non-verbal things like hand signals and motions and stuff, but Alma will not help people who have been here for more than a week, because at that point, it's too late. Because by that time, you probably turned into an Entity 463A. Now, these Entity 463As are mutant, aggressive entities that live here. These are all over the level, and they are what used to be normal entities or people that got no clipped here and stayed in the radiation for too long. And the radiation turned their bodies into these hideous looking things. Ugh. Now, they all do look different, but all of them are strictly misformed with extra legs and arms, and it just all looks gross. These entities will chase you on sight, so you need to walk carefully in order to not be seen, because they don't stop chasing you if you're seen. And after this, there's also another mysterious entity that's hinted at in this audio log that is, quote, the size of a mountain kicking up so much dust that I can't see behind it, end quote. So, uh, be on the lookout for that, I guess? To enter this level, you need to look for a door frame made out of concrete in an industrial level or a tunnel of some kind. And to exit, you need to go to the tower and turn everything on and call for Alma and hope that they get there before the mutant entities do. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.